it comes to hatred for Israel and the Jews, it seems history is repeating itself again. But I don't think hatred for Israel is repeating because this hatred for Israel has been around since its inception. And no, I do not mean 1948 when it became a nation again. I mean much, much earlier, say around 4,000 years ago. The Lord had said to Abram, Go from your country, your people, and your father's household to a land I will show you. I will make you into a great nation, and I will bless you. I will make your name great, and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and whoever curses you, I will curse. And all peoples on earth will be blessed through you. This promise God gave Abram, who would later be called Abraham, was God choosing a group of people to call his own that the eventual Messiah would come through. From their slavery in Egypt to the countless times the people succumbed to temptation and began worshiping false gods over and over again that eventually resulted in their exile to Assyria and later Babylon, to the destruction of Jerusalem in 70 AD by the Romans. The source of this hatred for the Jews and why they always seem to be under attack has always come from the devil himself. But sadly, even today, there are Christians who are somehow against Israel, believing lies and false narratives. I get that you can point out the Israeli government has corruption intertwined in it, just like every other nation in the world. But that should not mean that Israel cannot exist as a nation, exactly where it is. And for those for a two-state solution, no. The Palestinians have declined a two-state solution since the beginning. They only want the Jews completely destroyed. As a Christian, if you chant or post from the river to the sea, you are supporting the elimination of the Jews from their homeland. Israel has the right to defend itself as any sovereign nation does. And if October 7th would have happened to any other country in the world, they would have responded maybe the exact same way, but most likely way worse than Israel is doing today. It is also surprisingly sad how many do not read the entire Bible and see that Israel, and Jerusalem specifically, is and will be the center of it all at the end times. So in this short video, I just want to share several scriptures from the Bible as to why we as believers in Jesus should be praying and supporting Israel. Psalms 122.6 Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May those who love you be secure. Psalms 121, 1-4 I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the Maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. And during the end times, Zechariah 12, 10, God says, And I will pour out on the house of David and the inhabitants of Jerusalem a spirit of grace and supplication, they will look on me, the one they have pierced, and they will mourn for him as one mourns for an only child, and grieve bitterly for him as one grieves for a firstborn son. But you may say, that is only the Old Testament. Well, Paul wrote in Romans, I do not want you to be ignorant of this mystery, brothers and sisters, so that you may not be conceited. Israel has experienced a hardening in part until the full number of the Gentiles has come in. And in this way, all Israel will be saved. As it is written, the Deliverer will come from Zion. He will turn godlessness away from Jacob. Jacob here is another name for Israel. John wrote in the book of Revelation, At that very hour, there was a severe earthquake. A tenth of the city collapsed. Seven thousand people were killed in the earthquake. The survivors were terrified and gave glory to the God of heaven. What city? Well, let's go back a few verses. Their bodies will lie in the public square of the great city, which is figuratively called Sodom and Egypt, where also their Lord was crucified. Not to mention, when Jesus returns, he will be landing on the Mount of Olives, which is just east of the Temple Mount in Jerusalem. He will be setting up his millennial kingdom in Jerusalem. And after the millennium, there will be a new Jerusalem, where God himself will live among the people for eternity. God loves Israel. And we should too. If you are a Christian but do not support Israel's right to exist, then you are not, I repeat, you are not following the teachings of the Bible in its totality. But as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord and we will also stand with Israel. Dear God, please protect the nation of Israel. Please expose all the lies, deceptions, and false narratives that are being widely spread around the world through the media, through our universities, and sadly even through some churches. Please protect the young men and women serving in the IDF as they battle the evils that are around them. 
and just grant the nation of Israel victory over all their enemies. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.